Hi, I'm Jim Chicalella. I'm a member of SAG After an Equity. I've been so for over 30 years. I've made most of my money with the Screen Actors Guild. I've had SAG Plan 1 health insurance for my entire career. Not because I've always made money, but because it's a Robin Hood plan and we take care of each other. Uh, I will have this plan in retirement for life. The premiums are manageable, the deductibles are manageable, and though it's tougher to qualify these days, it is still manageable. I also have a pension because I'm vested. When I retire, I will receive a pension that will accrue in value as I continue to work. My wife will also receive that pension uh, when I pass away. Now we've been told that it was illegal to have a study, an impact study, nuts, bolts, numbers, bottom line, worst case scenario. What is going to happen when we unite these unions in terms of money? We were told it was illegal. That reason went out the window. Then we were told it was too expensive. Recently we've been told that the people that do this kind of thing, uh, the people that would be in charge of this, say they will not do it in the abstract. They will only do it if we unite. So am I supposed to understand now that there is enough money to do this once we pull the plug on SAG forever? I enjoy the culture of the SAG union, uh, voting on issues, issues being vetted, uh, uh, people representing me, uh, uh, they, they have to tell me what, what, what they stand for. When I hear the word convention, red flags go up. Everything I have is the result of 80 years of collective bargaining. I'm not going to turn around and sign my name to a vote to dissolve the Screen Actors Guild? To just dissolve that and throw that away? Those are my three big reasons. There are many more. Uh, and I'm done now.